All right, so in this case, guys, it says the ratio of sides of a triangle is 5, 6, and 9, and its perimeter is 220 meters. Find the length of each measure, all right? So the one thing I want you guys to understand is they're talking, asking us about a perimeter, right? Now, Zach, do you um, have any kind of thinking of what, you know, what is the definition of a perimeter for any kind of figure? Right, but was it just all those numbers, or what do we do with all those numbers, all those sides? You multiply them, subtract them, add them, divide them. You add them up, right? It's the sum of the measures of all the sides. So it's saying the ratio of those sides is 5, 6, and 9, right? So could it be actually 5, 6, and 9? Could it be 5, 6, and 9? No, right? That obviously doesn't work. However, ladies and gentlemen, let's think about this. What would be another equivalent ratio to 5, 6, and 9? Yes? <coughs> well, very good. Just, yes. Very Go through that. Yeah, you can actually multiply by a decimal of 10, but I want to show you a way to go ahead and solve this. So just hold on one second, because I'll get to that point. But one thing, guys, to find the same ratio, would you guys agree with me that 10, 12, 18 is the same as the ratio 5, 6, and uh, 5, 6, 9. Yeah. Those are equivalent ratios, right? If I said 10, 12, 18. Would you guys agree those are equivalent ratios, right? So as long as I multiply each of these numbers by the same factor, I produce equivalent ratios, correct? OK? So now, you might be able to look at that and determine. But what, so what we want to do is say, all right, we need to keep the same ratio. So we need to multiply all of them by the same factor. And what we're going to call that factor is x. And this will help you out, Zach, when you have a problem that maybe it's not apparent on what the factor is, or it's not you know, as uh, simple to see. So now what you do is you just take your ratio, and then you just have multiply each one of them by x, but you still add the sum to 220. Now. I can go and solve this. And I could say 5x plus 6x plus 9x. All right, so that equals 20x equals 220. Right? Would you guys agree with that? Then divide by 20, divide by 20, x equals 11. All right, so now what does the question ask? We'll find the length of each measure. So I need to find the length of each side. So if one side was 5, but it's being multiplied by 11, then I have 6 being multiplied by 11, and 9 being multiplied by 11. I have 55, 66, and 99. Those are my lengths of my triangles. All right? Because if you did 50, 60, and 90, that'd give you 200, but not 220, right? So x has to be 11, and these are going to be my side lengths. Cool? OK. Got it, Asia? Good.